What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going up? Pretty good, you. Uh, uh, uh. Bam. Bam. Uh, uh. Man, man. Punches are getting stronger. Guys, do not forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification. You know, when we post about your favorite project. Follow us on X, Instagram, and Discord. You can also become a superstar VIP, $2.99 a month. Hit the join button underneath the video. Um, but yeah, when you're in the Discord, if you are a VIP member or if you buy, uh, use any of our links or affiliate links, uh, from our ambassador ro roles, you can uh, let us know on Discord. We'll get you entries into the giveaways at the end of every single month. We also give a star away to someone in the VIP program, end of every single month. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Rob, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, guys, definitely join the Discord. We had a question about our VIP program. Remember, if you are a VIP, you are automatically enrolled to giveaways every single month. Unfortunately, some of you asking the question, you know who you are if you're watching. You just have it once in September. So hopefully <laughs> you get lucky and we get you some prizes uh, as the months go on. And maybe you're gonna the juju will be with you. We'll get you something this month or the month after. I don't even know who you're talking about, but uh, I'm curious to find out after the video. I'll tell you after. <laughs> yeah, um, guys. So I mean, we had a lot of buzz happening on Twitter today. It was a lot of fun uh, seeing the back and forth and seeing all of the people chiming in on this topic. So we're gonna bring it up. Um, shout out to Vivi Gas um, for for putting this one out there for us. Um, basically, he's talking about how Mr. Pegs basically announced that he's leaving the community or leaving the. The, the VV app and the, and the OMI because of all the stuff that happened on Bitforex. Uh, hopefully he's able to get his tokens back. Uh, and, and there was a spaces and he was up there and, and Naked Will asked him, uh, is there anything that could change your mind? And he said, no, if he gets all his coins back, he's going to dump them. Um, and I'm sure that there's a lot of people with similar feelings who were got on Bitforex. Some people are going to say they shouldn't have kept their coins on the, on the exchange. Some people are going to defend them. I mean, it's to each their own, their own decisions, whatever uh, it is. We have no opinion on Mr. Pegg's position to stay or leave uh, Vivi or Omi uh, behind. And we just hope that he is able to retain the value that he, he left on the exchange there. And hopefully uh, so are many others in the community that are, that are, that saw their Omi disappear on that, uh, on that day. So I hope that all comes full circle, but that's not even the point of the video, the point of the tweet, because it continues here. Uh, and, and because it was started off talking about Omi and how Mr. Pegg's was upset that Omi, Omi got not rugged, but Bifrex rugged. Uh, and, and that was due in part to Omi. And I guess he's tying the connection to uh, the interview that Mona did with the CEO roundtable with Will and David Yu. And she asked the question to David, if he would do it again, would he do it again with Omi or with a cryptocurrency? And David's answer wasn't yes. Uh, and that stuck out to Vivi Gas. And he was very, um, very, his, his entire thought process changed because of the great question that Mona asked. She made a question that he maybe didn't know the answer to. And because he learned new information, it changed his entire thought process of what he feels about Omi. And his thoughts now are that he doesn't think that Vivi needs Omi and that Omi could be gone and Vivi will be just fine. So, uh, Rob, what do you think about the tweet? I mean, we're going to get into it in detail here, but I just wanted to hear from you first. And then I could throw up a couple of other responses <clears throat> that there's on this thread. So first of all, Mr. Peggs, uh, I think we thought that this was going to happen with more than just him. We're not surprised at all that Mr. Peggs is having these feelings that maybe, you know, he, he's turned off a little bit from just the whole, you know, not just OMI, but probably cryptocurrency in general. Um, but with OMI, sometimes because of this, the liquidity of it and the difficulty, you know, being led into the Bitforex exchange, he's maybe turned off directly with OMI. I don't know if that's going to be for all a cryptocurrency, but this is a... I think uh, he does. He's not alone in this. I think he, that kind of sentiment might be shared with the, with some others as well in the community. Um, but I mean, with Meta Mona, I think she did a really good job bringing to surface because she did do an interview trying to understand CEOs and business. She really brought to the surface. If you didn't really think about it before, the different means and methods that a CEO can use to raise funds to build a product. So. In that exact interview, you had one company say, well, we did it the traditional market way. So we went, got angel investors. They gave us, you know, dollars. We don't know the true, uh, you know, agreement, contractual agreement, but they probably bought part of the company through shares, right? As part of that investment. I doubt it was just a loan. It was an investment. Um, and that, and that way they're not slaves, let's say to a coin they're, they are committed to their investors and, and they have to now get build value, not just for themselves, but for their investors. The other way, which was the way the VV took is they actually went to the coin. Now they might have some private investors that we're just not aware of, 
But we know for sure that the coin was definitely used as an ICO to raise funds in order to build the VV app specifically. And you can go back and still find that white paper way back from 2018. And uh, if it wasn't for Metamona, I don't think people would really understand and recognize that. So she brought to light, yes, VV did in fact use the coin to raise funds to build this app. So in so in a way, right, they kind of are slaves now to the OMI holders because they're going to now, kind of like how you know other companies have to pay back their investors, VV has to pay back their investors or there'll be trouble. So a big shout out to Metamona. And of course, I think, you know, VV Gas was one of the guys that was ripping on Metamona for her, um, I don't even know the right word for this, for her like bias maybe, or, you know, saying that she, she's unethical, but literally in the same sentence, <laughs> he gives her credit for helping him understand that, that David Yu isn't so hot about doing this over again with Omi at the forefront. So anyways, continue, Joe. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen it before where you you don't like an interview, you don't like the answers you got in an interview, but then you change your entire thinking process based off the answers you got in an interview. Like something's not jiving there. But anyway, we'll, we'll move on from that. Um, I want to bring up some responses here because there's some good ones. Um, and one of them is from the Cray Mountain. So shout out to the Cray Mountain. Um, long time follower, long time uh, supporter. Um, Omi brought most of the VV users. If we detach from Omi, VV users will go down 90% along with their value. But I don't think there's a chance that VV dumps the token. For me, it's out of the question. VV gas goes on. I don't believe that one bit. Randy could leave. Pegs could leave. There will be more on their way for the IP, especially now for comics, Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, Pixar. They will bring collectors. VV doesn't need a token to survive. Sorry, but that's out of the question. Omi and VV are one. The rest is just blah, blah for consumption and engagement. And then no one knows if they will remain one just because VV started with a token doesn't mean that they'll end with one. They were ambitious, possibly too ambitious. And now they've just realized regulatory difficulties and so on and so on. So um, what do you think about that one, Rob? I, I got my own thoughts, but let's hear from you. So the truth lies somewhere in the middle. So we've known from the beginning that VV is an app that can completely operate without any kind of token whatsoever. It, it is an app that the way it functions right now, it would not need Omi to function in any way. Now, with that being said, we also have to remember that the beginnings and the way that VV was structured was starting with that token. So it, they can't get rid of it, right? If they were to get rid of it, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of class action lawsuit from Omi token holders uh, because you know they bought into something that was supposed to have an entire roadmap for the omi token provide burn mechanisms for the omi token provide value for the omi token that's why they participated in the ico so that they can profit with that investment because at the end cryptocurrency omi token is truly an investment you don't collect omi you invest in omi unlike vv digital collectibles which we'll get to in a second so i i think the, the truth lies somewhere in the middle so yes vv could totally work a hundred percent without omi right now but you, it can't it actually can't because of the way this whole business was structured from day one yeah it's, it's not only that i mean you say it all the time when it comes to trust um if you were to first of all your your core user base no matter what you say is omi base like a lot of people here are deep into the omi token because they want most of the perks that the platform provides and they have integrations now where you can put uh, you can stake your omi get mcp points which is now being used for for drops so that's out there we've seen foster hill come out publicly say around the corner omi to nft uh and and a bunch of other things coming for the omi token accessibility they've been that's been a hot word so uh obviously we have not seen that yet but they wouldn't foster just got hired to that team is going to go and make lies right away I don't know if we're going to, if we would see that from him uh, immediately. So that seems like that's cooking. Uh, and even then, if you were to say, listen, we tried, it didn't work. And you take the Omi token out of the equation, you will lose so much trust from your user base and you will lose so much trust from your diehard user base. Randy, I mean, Ra I'm surprised he doesn't have a VV tattoo right now because he is a, he has been carrying the load on his shoulders. He has been bringing them to the to promised land. I mean, like he has just been all there for VV and you're going to go and take away Omi when he has like 200 million of it stacked up in his bag. I, I don't know if you can do that to the diehards. And and you say if they leave, if Pags leaves, if Randy leaves, what are you doing? You're just letting the mass exodus happen of your of your core user base. Where is that going to be good news for you in the future? You're going to let everybody who actually believes in the product leave. And then you're going to try and bring in new people that you would have to convince to use the stuff because 
The people who are already here are the people who did the research who found the stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's something that even if the IP is there, if the trust is gone, it does not matter. It will not matter. Yeah. And don't forget Logan Paul, right? Oh, am I <laughs> remember that interview? Oh, that little token that no one knows about. Oh, am I, oh, my, it was all about the token, right? People were buying this for the token because of the vision that they had with the VV app and how it would be integrated. The synergies wasn't supposed to be between MCP and OMI. It was supposed to be between OMI and VV. So, although I will, I think there's another tweet you want to pull up there, Joe, about, yeah. um, uh, so this is from Dr. Yeah. Stuff. Uh, shout out to him. Yeah. He's been on the channel. Um, VV has never needed the token to survive. Neither do 80 to 90% of projects out there with a token. Projects with a token typically use it as a way to add value to their platform. That is exactly what is happening as we start to roll out utility for bronze tickets. That's coming April 1st, I believe. Um, I will. I believe we will see only the NFT and token burning mechanisms and more. He also goes on to say that Will from CryptoWise mentioned in that interview that they might dabble in a token down the line. Obviously, nothing is confirmed on that end yet. But the fact that he's bringing it up means that maybe they will find a way to have utility by having a token. So uh, Dr. Stuff's completely right. The token could also be used to add value to the platform. Mm -hmm. And I mean, why wouldn't you do that if you can navigate those regulatory waters and make it happen? So um, I think I think uh, there's plenty of ways of looking at this. I think one way to look at it, though, that most people would agree on is you take out the only token, you're going to lose a big chunk of your core user base that you might never get back. Yeah. And, and, and the whole thing about adding value too. absolutely. It's an opportunity that you can have value to the platform in VV's case though. Uh, they don't have a choice, right? They have to use it to add value because that was the structure of the roadmap from day one, uh, when the token was sent out and the token was available to purchase. Um, so, uh, another thing that I want to add here, I'm going to just pull up my screen is, you know, we talk about investment within the VV app. Nice thing about Omi too, is that it actually gives you a real vehicle to invest. Like, the collectibles in the terms of services, VV went after the fact and added this. We all know people are using VV collectibles as a means of trying to get price appreciation. There's a market you can KYC cash out. So naturally, people do have the ability to buy and flip, and therefore they can profit. But they did put in the terms of services that their intent is never to make this an investment. It's just supposed to be there for entertainment and consumption. It's not, it's not supposed to be there for investment, speculation, or financial gain. You can't say the same for OMI. OMI is inherently an investment. So Many people are using OMI as a way to invest in VV, but at the same time, it was always supposed to be that way. That was the intention of OMI. Don't get me wrong. The token is flexible and you can find other utilities outside of OMI. They've tried this already with other, you know, projects that may want to use it as maybe part of their gamification plan, you know, play to play to earn kind of thing. And they thought about using OMI to help make those, those work. But the core plan was the VV app for OMI. So at this point, you cannot get rid of it no matter what. As for uh, what Will said, I think it was the token. We don't really know how that's going to be yet as a value added, but they the have token, items. Tokens in game. That's like uh, gems. So then maybe it was yeah. uh, the shards. I can't remember. They had some. They binary had some, dust, well, maybe. We don't maybe, know though. We don't yeah, know. maybe it was binary dust that was supposed to be the NFT version of it, the coin of it. And they're going to have their own sets of value added. But the difference is that that actually truly can be a value add because People didn't buy into that in the first place. They bought into the cryptoids themselves, and now that will be the value add. Whereas with Vivi, they bought into the token first. So you got to commit to that first. So one last thing, Joe, um, I just want to bring up here um, in terms of you know growth. Um, it's very important that you keep your current user base. We saw that even with the release of Vivi Comics on average, yes, we had a 61% increase in active new wallets, but that's a total of 21. So in terms of the masses, the last thing you want to do right now is even talk about removing the OB token or not providing it the utility that it needs because then you would turn off who's here right now, which is the people who are supporting the app are here right now. We're not seeing the growth. There's This has been flat line like this, you know, 17, 20 new users a day on average for a long time now. The last thing you can do is, you know, talk about getting rid of the OMI token right now and imagine what would happen. Talk about Mr. Pegs. Imagine what would happen to the entire community, I think it's it would be uh, completely unacceptable. And not going to happen. Not it's not. Happen. It, it can't. It can't happen. I think VV knows this. David, you knows this. Yeah. If it were to happen, I think the cost of making that happen would be more than the cost of just trying to find a way to get this some utility and make the only token integrated in the VV app. Yeah. So you guys can let us know below your thoughts. What do you guys think below? Tell us. Uh, you know, do you think? Do you agree that VV cannot get rid of the only token? That the only token is a necessary component of VV right now? 
Uh, or do you think that they could get rid of it and they, and they might? I don't know. What do you guys think? Curious to hear your opinions. Let us know in the comments below if you haven't already. Don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button and join the superstar fam. Hit the bell notification button to get every single video every single day. Also, just superstar VIPs, two nine a month. Get stars your name. After spreadsheets, guys, don't forget. Uh, superstar utility program. So you're gonna get stars every single month if you're a VIP. And may the juju be with you that you might win. Guys, take care. See you next one. Bye bye. Bye.